Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a review of the new Color Science Flex, and I will compare it and tell you the difference between the Flex and the original face shield formulation. And then just for comparison of color tones, I will compare this to the Elastin Hydrotint and to the Skin Better Science Compact because those are the most pigmented um, sunscreens that are 100% mineral that I use on a regular basis. And so you'll see the color differences between those three sunscreens. If you would give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, that'll help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. Also comments are really helpful and I'm small enough that I do get back to everyone. So feel free to drop me a comment down below. Okay, so starting off with these two sunscreens. This one is a winner instantly in its PA protection. This has the four plus, which is the maximum for PA protection. PA protection is for UVA rays. Again, remember A is for aging. So this is superior to the original face shield. Otherwise, it is SPF 50 like the original. It still has excellent protection against pollution and also blue light. And the formulation has changed. This old one you had to shake and it um, you could hear it. This one you don't have to shake. Up. This comes in four shades. There's a fair shade, this medium shade, and two deeper tones. I find that this is a better match than the original face shield was. The original face shield was a lot more pink. This particular sunscreen is less pink and it dries down quite matte. The original, uh, the original face shield I found was more shiny than this one. The blue light protection comes from the iron oxides and iron oxides come in black, yellow, and red pigments. And it's important to use all three because each one of the pigments blocks at a different part in a different section of the light spectrum. So when you use all three, you have a broader protection. And the reason why the color selection is limited with color science is because they only use these non-chemical healthy pigments that not only give the color of the sunscreens, but also give this uh, blue light protection. So all three pigments are used in all four color formulations, just in a different concentration in each one. The original face shield provided 84% protection from HEV, high energy visible blue light, and the new formulation provides 82 to 92% blue light protection. One of the main differences in the iron oxide formulation is that in the new flex, they are encapsulated. So when you take out the sunscreen, it's actually white. And as you start to work with it, the iron oxides start to uh, become visible and turn from white to an actual pigmented color. So this is the medium. I got the medium for my skin tone and it actually uh, is a better match than the original face shield was. So that is um, that is the sunscreen once it's blended in. So it's 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 kind of nice because you know when to stop blending once once it's no longer white, then you know you've uh, you've blended it well. Otherwise, in terms of UVB, both of them are SPF 50. The primary ingredient is zinc oxide at 12 percent and the other ingredients are also the same. If you are a color science user, you already know this is a company that uses no nanoparticles and no chemical sunscreen ingredients. They are 100% mineral. They rely on zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, and they use proprietary coating technologies to incorporate antioxidants and other ingredients. Some of the ingredients that are available in both formulations include bioavailable vitamin E, niacinamide, silver ear mushroom extract, uh, bisabolol for soothing properties, various antioxidants, InfraGuard, which protects from infrared light, as well as lipochromin, which is a powerful antioxidant. So those ingredients are the same in both. In summary, from the sunscreen point of view, the Flex is superior in PA protection by adding another plus, being four plus with the previous being three plus. Now, how are they different from a cosmetic point of view? I do find that this is 
a very excellent coverage sunscreen. I would say this is essentially a sunscreen foundation that provides a light to medium coverage, depends on how you wanna build it up. The original formulation is said to have a matte finish and to help with sebum control. The new formulation is stated to be semi-matte and is supposed to be hydrating. So in theory, people with oily skin would choose the original face shield over the Flex. In my experience, the Flex actually dries down much more matte than the original formulation. And I am I'm not oily, but I have not found it to be greasy or um, overly hydrating or sticky on the skin. It actually uh, dries down beautifully. And I'm wearing it today with no powder on top. And usually, uh, by midday, I need a powder to remove some shine and I'm just wearing the Flex, no powder. And, you know, I might be a little bit shiny at this point, but I still think it, it looks okay. So I actually find the Flex is far more matte than the face shield. Let's now compare the new Flex to the Elastin Hydra Tint and to the Skin Better Science Tone Smart Compact, which also provides pretty good coverage and pretty good color. When comparing these three sunscreens, I find that the Elastin Hydra Tint and the Flex are very similar in color. They have just a minimal orange undertone, and they're not orange by any means, but compared to the Skin Better Science, the Skin Better Science is a little bit of a deeper color, and it goes more into sort of like a, a deeper brownish gray, and it has no orange whatsoever. Whereas these two are quite natural, but they veer closer to the orange spectrum. I found that the most matte of the three was the compact, and the least matte of the three was the Hydra Tint, which is to be expected because that one is supposed to give you a glow. When I went to wash these sunscreens off, I noticed that the one that washed off the easiest was actually the new Flex, and the one that was most difficult to remove was the Skin Better Science Tone Smart. Now, the, the new Flex and the Elast and Hydra Tint are both uh, 40 minute water resistant and the Skin Better Science Compact is 80 minutes water resistant. So that could be the reason why. Overall, I have to say that choosing between these two, I absolutely prefer this one. If I want a very natural light coverage, like a minimal foundation, uh, this is brilliant. I love that it has better UVA protection and it's a wonderful everyday uh, go-to sunscreen. In terms of coverage, I would say it's light to medium, and I think it is comparable to the Skin Better Science uh, Tone Smart Compact. I do love how easy it is applied. It's very liquidy. You don't have to shake the bottle. The only time I wouldn't reach for this is if I was going to be in water or doing a sport where you sweat a lot just because I did notice it washed off much more quickly and easily than the other two sunscreens. So if you are going to use this and you're perspiring or you're in water, just make sure you reapply more than you think you need to. So that is my review of the sunscreen. I absolutely love it. If you've tried it, let me know. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll see you next time.